So as we continue with our last lesson about Microsoft Paint, let us put in mind the following reminders as we use our computers so that we avoid body aches and we can do our work better. And these are our objectives for this week. A. Use basic tools in drawing, specifically the shapes tool and the paint bucket this time. And you will still save your work in Microsoft Paint. To use shapes in your drawing, simply go to the shapes group. Select the shape that you would like to use. By the way, the name of each shape will appear as you move your mouse over it. So this is oval. This is rectangle. And on this side, you can click on the drop-down arrow to see more shapes. Okay, so I have selected oval. Next, on your canvas, click and hold your mouse. Then drag it until you have your desired size of that shape. Then release the mouse button. Your shape will be selected with dashed lines. If you want to make your shape smaller or wider, you can adjust this by clicking and dragging the knobs on the sides or the small dots on the sides. Next, what if you would like to move your shape on another part of the canvas? For example, you'd like to place it at the center. While it's selected, you move your mouse over the shape You'll see this uh, cross with arrow heads. Then drag it at the desired place. Then release your mouse button. Click outside the shape once you're done. Now what if you would like to have your shape colored? Click on the shape. Then from the colors group, select the color that uh, you would like to use. Then do the same thing. Drag it on your canvas. Let's try another shape. There. And the last tool that we will be using for our drawing will be the Fill with Color tool located in the Tools group. This is also called paint bucket in other paint programs. So we use this to fill large areas with colors. So let's try. First, click on a tool and then your mouse pointer should also change into a bucket. Then choose the color that you would like to use. So we'll fill this shape with a red color also. And then, move your mouse over the area you would like to cover, then click your mouse once. Let's do the same with the other shapes. And if you want to color the whole of your canvas, you can do that also. For example, we will draw an animal using the shapes tool and the paint bucket, a giraffe for example. So for the head, I'll try to use two shapes, first with the hexagon, and then for the mouth, I'll use oval. Of course, you can still use eraser tool to remove the excess parts.
rectangle for the neck. You can use other tools that uh, you've learned from last week. So for the ears, let me use the brush tool. I'll just have to fill the shapes first with their colors using the paint bucket or fill with color tool. Okay, we have to make sure that the shapes or lines are really connected so that your paint bucket won't spill. So the reason why uh, the color spilled over the canvas is that there's a small opening here. So let me use the undo icon for that. And then go back with the brush tool just to close this gap. Let's try it one more time. 